there's some growing concern about the rising number of whooping cough cases across the country. Uh, according to new data from the CDC, there are five times as many cases this year compared to this time last year. Joining us now is Henry Ford Hospital pediatrician, Dr. Shalini Saiti. Doctor, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, and um, I'm happy I'm here to talk about a very, very serious disease called pertussis or whooping cough. Yeah, so typically when we're talking about this, we really are concerned about the smallest among us, kids and babies. Uh, but this is a virus that people of all ages can and do catch, correct? Yes, and it is actually, we think it's a virus, but it is a bacteria. So this is a bacteria which has medications available. Yes, so it is more and serious in babies under one year. And you know, one out of three can be admitted to the hospital, it's that bad. So we want to be careful with babies, immunocompromised kids or elderlies and pregnant women for sure. Uh, can we talk about some of the symptoms to look out for? You know, it's getting cooler, also we'll be getting into flu season, so sometimes they can seem similar. What do parents need to be watching for? You're right, um, it appears as a common cold. The initial, when you get that bacteria in you from somebody who coughed on you or a you know, nearby person who had pertussis, you will present as something like a common cold. You will have a cough, you may have some cold symptoms. This stage is called the catarrhal stage and it appears like a simple cold. But gradually, the next stage is within a week when you are into the characteristic symptoms of pertussis. You have a bad cough, coughing fits, and you have that whoop, the sound which comes after you have coughed a lot when you're gasping for air. This is when parents get a little worried and get to us to be seen. But by this time, the first stage has passed. If you are into second, you have already spread the bacteria. So it's very important to catch kids or patients early so that they can be treated. Now, the last stage um, is convalescent when you are recovering, and it may take weeks to months. All right, let's talk about uh, the vaccine that can protect against this. This is the Tdap vaccine. A lot of people don't really talk or think about this until you're expecting a baby in the household. In my case, that's going on right now. And I have found a lot of adults can't remember if they got one recently or not. And you do have to get them every so often, correct? You are right. It is the most important and the best thing you could do to prevent pertussis. The first and most important is, important is to get vaccinated. So we do vaccinations for kids, which starts as early as two months. We go to four months, six months, four years, 11 years, and then every 10 years. So for adults, we need them vaccinated according to CDC every 10 years because the, uh, the immunity weans out. And the most important is pregnant ladies, pregnant women. So anybody who is in uh, getting pregnant or is pregnant, it is advised every pregnancy, 27 week to 36 week, get a Tdap. That is what is recommended. All right, a lot of people may not realize that. Dr. Shalini Sethi, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for bringing me here to give such an important uh, information to our population.